I think we're getting the full Elm Street collection on 4K. Finally, which is amazing. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Two videos in one day. How lucky are you? So firstly, I want to give a massive shout out to my dear friend Christian over at Planet CHH who broke this news with a video of his a couple of hours ago. I wanted to talk about because this is very exciting. We obviously have the release of the first Nightmare on Elm Street that's currently doing the rounds on 4K to coincide with the 40th anniversary of the first film. I myself have the digital release of the 4K version of the film. I've done comparison shots to the 1080p Blu-ray version. I was going to do a video on it. I may hold off until I get the actual physical 4K disc. I've got the big whiz bang fuck off Mickey Mouse pack, the special edition pack, which hopefully is shipping out in two days time. I know a lot of people in the UK are getting their copies because that's where they're originating from. So I may wait until I get the actual physical 4K disc to truly see how it looks uncompressed. Because regardless of something being 4K, if you get it as a digital download, it's still going to be compressed depending on your bitrate and stuff like that and all that technical mumbo jumbo and silicon chips and such. But I have made comparison photos. There is a pretty big difference. I have thoughts, I have feelings, and I have opinions, good and bad about the transfer, but also I think the sound. I definitely want to wait to get the 4K disc to see how everything sounds with the sound design, the sound mixing, the brand new soundtrack, everything. But Rachel Talalay, the director of Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, posted something very interesting on her Instagram that essentially, without saying, says that they are remastering and doing the whole Elm Street series on 4K, which is fucking exciting, man. It was it was only a matter of time. They started off with the first one to coincide again with the 40th anniversary. It was only gonna be a matter of time before they did the rest of the Elm Street collection. So she posted two photos on her Instagram. The first one is a selfie of her at the Warner Brothers Studios, the back lot, and you see the water tower in the background. It says, dreaming of a water tower, hashtag Freddy Krueger, Freddy's dead. Regrading a movie from 30 years ago is an exercise in being punched in the face by every rookie mistake, with a rare occasional, that was good. New 3D is a revelation though, Freddy's brain is peak brat. So not only are they remastering from the sounds of it and the looks of it, Freddy's dead, they're also redoing the 3D effect, the last 15 minutes of the film that were filmed in 3D, and not very good 3D, I may add. Like, you, you get the, the shonky little 3D glasses back in the day, but apparently they're using brand new 3D technology to really amp up the effect of the 3D sequence of the film, the climax of the film. And then we also have another photo of her with the screening of the title card, Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. So from what I can tell, the directors are coming back, doing the rounds, and supervising the 4K restoration of their Elm Street film. So if that's the case, does that mean we're going to get Stephen Hopkins, Rennie Harlan, Chuck Russell, Jack Shoulder coming back to help supervise the restoration of their Elm Street films? I fucking hope so, man. Does that mean Ronnie Yu is going to come back and help supervise the restoration of Freddy vs. Jason? That will look good on 4K. I have a feeling that'll look mint. Whether or not Samuel Bayer comes back and supervises the restoration of the Elm Street remake from 2010, who knows? That one will probably look the best, like it's the, the most recent one, but I have a feeling Freddy vs. Jason, because of the blues, will look pretty damn good. But Freddy's dead. That's so cool that she's announced that, she's supervising that, and again, this pretty much solidifies the fact that they're doing the rounds. They're remastering these for 4K. And hopefully we're going to get a big, beautiful fuck off box set of all these films on 4K. Again, I have the digital version of the first film on 4K, but I think I may hold off until I get the physical disc just to see it fully uncompressed in all its glory, how it's meant to be viewed. Again, I still have comparison shots. There is a big difference so far, good and bad. But this, this is cool. This gets me excited. And this gets me gooey in the jocks. So guys, with that being said, which particular Elm Street are you looking forward to seeing in 4K? For me, it's actually Freddy's Dead. I love Freddy's Dead. Unapologetically. Is that how you say it? Again, I equate it to like watching Samurai Cop or The Room. It's just fucking silly and I love it for it. But to see it in 4K and see all those beautiful details, the glove details in 4K, brand new sound mix. I'm all for it. Of course, with the rest of the Elm Street collection as well. But to me... I'm glad that Rachel Talalay announced that one. Love you guts, and I'll catch you in the next one.